Heights. We are sitting just off all-time highs. What do you think um, this year brings? Uh, well, everybody came into 2023 with a very negative view, and the market went up quite a bit. And everybody's now positive, and so my guess is that uh, by the end of the year, maybe we'll go down. In a world where the ebbs and flows of stock values and interest rates shape the destiny of investments, Leon Cooperman's recent forecast sends ripples across the financial landscape. He warns of a potential downturn for stocks perceived as too rich, signaling a pivotal moment for investors everywhere. This isn't just any prediction. Coming from a titan of investment, it is a clarion call to re-examine what we thought we knew about stock valuation and market dynamics. But our journey doesn't stop at stock valuation. Cooperman casts his gaze further, predicting a rise in long-term interest rates over the year. This anticipation isn't just a piece of the puzzle. It is a game-changer, poised to reshape borrowing costs and sector performances across the board. I think the Fed will cut short rates uh, maybe two or three times. Forget the six times that the market was discounting. But I think the long end will go up. And, you know, prior to 2008, the 10-year government bond yielded in line with nominal GDP. If you have inflation of 2 to 3 percent and you have real growth of a couple percent, a 10-year of 4 or 5 percent or higher would not be a big surprise. And right. I think our situation is out of control. In today's episode, we're not just unpacking these forecasts. We're diving into how they could revolutionize investment strategies. From individual portfolios to institutional behemoths, Cooperman's insights demand a strategic recalibration. We stand at the threshold of change, where understanding the nuances of stock valuation and interest rate trends becomes not just beneficial, but essential for navigating the future of finance. And there's more. Amidst these cautionary insights, Cooperman offers a beacon of hope with his top holdings. Two stocks he believes stand out for their exceptional business models and potential for significant gains. First, listen from Cooperman's own words the reasons behind his confidence and what makes these stocks a must-have in your investment arsenal. My things are out of favor, and uh, I'm holding on to Alphabet and Microsoft because they're the great technology companies. And that's my window to technology. You know, I can't know nearly as much as these managers of those companies know. And yes, they're pricey, but I have a much lower cost basis of a big capital gain. And uh, I'm not looking to pay taxes in these good companies. So first on the list is none other than the tech giant Alphabet Inc, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. With its diversified portfolios spanning search engines, cloud computing, video streaming, and more, Google has carved out a dominant position in the digital realm. The recent quarter's performance underscores this, with revenue soaring past expectations, a testament to the company's unwavering growth trajectory. Despite the market's temporary fixation on AI's tangible business contributions, leading to an underserved dip in Google's stock value, savvy investors like Leon Cooperman recognize the underlying opportunity. Cooperman's consistent investment in Alphabet since Q3 of 2015, holding 650,000 shares worth over $85 million, speaks volumes about the stock's enduring appeal. This bullish stance is not without merit. Google's mastery in integrating AI into its services, from search to cloud, positions it at the forefront of the next technological revolution. The market's response to Alphabet's recent earnings call, focusing narrowly on the advertising revenue slight miss and the perceived lag in AI monetization compared to competitors, overlooks the company's broader achievements. Alphabet's revenue growth, particularly in Google Search and Google Cloud, is nothing short of impressive. With Google Cloud's revenue surging by over 25%, it is clear that Alphabet is not just keeping pace, but setting the bar high in the tech industry. Alphabet's strategic investments in AI, including the AI hypercomputer, Dubit AI, and Vertex AI, are already enhancing its core services. The introduction of generative AI tools like Gemini and Bard underscores Google's commitment to leading the AI charge, blending text, images, audio, video, and code in innovative ways. These advancements are not just technical feats, but strategic moves that fortify Google's competitive edge. Critics quick to compare Alphabet's AI strategy with that of Microsoft or NVIDIA miss the forest for the trees. 
Google's approach, focusing on integrating AI across its suite of services, ensures a seamless and powerful user experience. This strategy, while not always yielding immediate revenue spikes, sets the stage for sustained long-term growth and market leadership. Moreover, Alphabet's valuation presents a compelling case for investors. Trading at just 18 and a half times forward EPS targets, Google is markedly undervalued, especially when compared to peers like Microsoft and Apple. This discrepancy offers a unique buying opportunity, reminiscent of Meta Platforms' situation a year ago, where market sentiment had yet to catch up with the company's growth potential. Alphabet's financial health, highlighted by its robust operating cash flows and ambitious EPS targets for 2024, further solidifies its position as a wise investment choice. The company's focus on AI, coupled with its ability to innovate and adapt, promises not just to navigate, but to shape the future of technology. Let's turn to our second pick of the day, Microsoft Corporation, ticker symbol MSFT. Under the visionary leadership of CEO Satya Nadella, Microsoft has not just navigated the complex terrain of digital transformation, but has emerged as a leader, especially in the realm of artificial intelligence, or AI. The company's strategic foresight, exemplified by its early investment in open AI and rapid integration of generative AI technologies, positions it at the forefront of a burgeoning AI revolution. With Leon Cooperman's nearly 13-year investment journey seeing the stock climb from $26 to an impressive $330, Microsoft's trajectory offers a compelling narrative of growth, resilience, and untapped potential. Microsoft's financial performance in the second quarter and first half of fiscal year 24 underscores its robust health and dynamism. An 18% year-over-year revenue increase to $62 billion in fiscal second quarter 24 alongside significant jumps in operating and net income, reflects not just operational efficiency, but strategic acumen. The intelligent cloud segment, in particular, showcases Microsoft's competitive edge with a 20% revenue increase and a staggering 40% increase in operating income, driven in part by Azure's 30% growth. These numbers are not mere statistics. They are testament to Microsoft's deepening entrenchment in the future of cloud computing and AI. The integration of ChatGPT into Bing and the embedding of AI-powered co-pilots across its technology stack underline Microsoft's commitment to leading the AI charge. While competitors like Amazon and Google scramble to catch up, Microsoft's early moves and strategic partnerships have carved out a significant niche in the cloud computing market, capturing 2% from Amazon in the December quarter alone. This first-mover advantage in AI coupled with Nadella's transformative leadership, sets a strong foundation for sustained growth. The so-called Nadella effect has been nothing short of revolutionary for Microsoft. Transitioning from a period of stagnation to explosive growth, Nadella's tenure has seen the company's market capitalization soar, driven by successful acquisitions and strategic partnerships. Adela's approach of empowering organizations and fostering collaboration has repositioned Microsoft as a central figure in technology discussions, a stark contrast to its status in 2014. Looking ahead, Microsoft's financial guidance for fiscal third quarter 24 is promising, with expectations of continued expansion across its diverse business segments. This optimistic outlook, coupled with the company's performance in the first half of fiscal year 24, suggests that Microsoft is on track to deliver another year of outstanding financial results. The integration of AI across its offerings, from cloud services to productivity tools, positions Microsoft not just to capitalize on current trends, but to define them. The potential for AI in cloud computing is immense with Gartner projecting that by 2025, 90% of companies will provide AI assistance to their workforce. As AI matures and finds more applications across industries, Microsoft's early investments and integrations place it in an enviable position to capture a significant share of this burgeoning market. The anticipated growth in AI revenues, potentially reaching $740 billion by 2030, highlights the vast opportunity ahead for Microsoft. Microsoft.